Wine, it's Terrence Gangster Williams, a.k.a. OG Giggity, a.k.a. Mr. Answer Right Back. Let me tell y'all when I got my blue bands. Like, maybe like a week after my QX4 Infinity got burnt. I had got the blue bands and I had got a red one. The red one I used to keep across the river in my railroad. The blue one I had hid across the river, but Killer Stone was on my trail. And I had a feeling that he knew something about my truck being burned, but I didn't. So one day I bring the bands out, the blue one, mirror tents on it with the choppers on there, the blades, the broaders. We go around uh, St. Mary High School. We go around the school. Then he had called me. So he was like, where you at? I said, I'm in, the, I'm, in the, I'm in the boat right now. Boy, I'm floating. I'm up going up magazine. I said, come in and know you, man, so I can see what you, how I look. I'm like, all right. So he had come out the, out the driveway, the Magnolia driveway, in the black pathfinder. I could read my homegirl, Kimmy Lips. She was like, they look like the uh, gangster bands. So as she said that, I was pulling up. Dropped the window. I said, oh, I got money. What they thought I had to wait on insurance check. So I go through the driveway, come around, stone looking at shaking his smiling. But I didn't know that smile was, well, oh, I'm gonna get that one too. I just thought the smile was, well, I like what you're doing. Because see, I was trying to be slick because I already didn't hit for the bricks. So he was already on point because he he knew one of my favorite spots where to go at to uh to get off the stuff was second and D. So he went around there and did his homework. He did his homework, found out that it was a certain color of coat around there being sold that he had. He was the only one with this color. Because I had wound, I wound up a uh, selling greedy man, a whole brick that came back brown. Like, man, it's, I don't like this color. Yet. Da, da, da. He tried to get off it. So word got back to Big Dog that it was me. That hit. But he tried to, he say, and I remember him telling me, he say, well, you got that one across the river by your cousin house back there, uh, not too far from the cutoff, man. I was like, no, but all the way I did. So I hurry up and grab it, grabbed it, and he brought it straight to the, uh, what do you call that thing? The, uh, when you put the car in the, um, the storage. I went straight, put that thing in the story because he was after it. And, but I didn't know he was after it, but I didn't trust nobody. I didn't want nobody knowing where I hid my cars this time. So I had got that blue 400 SC Mercedes Benz. And I, and I kept the red one on the, on that side of the river, across the river. So, you know what, people always say, yeah, he always talking about that Infinity. Why are you always talking about the Infinity? talking about the other car. Because the, the QX, I had the Q45 when I first got out. That got totaled. Then I should drive the, uh, the, the Lexus, the bubble, we used to call it the white with the gray at the bottom. Then I bought the QX4 Infinity truck off the showroom floor. And I talk about that so much because I opened the door and that was an exciting feeling that I was the first one in New Orleans with that SUV. That's why I talk more about that. But right after that, uh, I had got the Caprice. I had got the, I had got two Camaros, a green one and a white one. I had a C28. I had a green Camaro. I had to get at the high bezel. So when we, me and Blab were put together, we bought him out of jail, got him a lawyer, because he was on a fake charge of kidnapping. We got him out of jail, and I gave him a call. Here you go, boy. So that's why you hear me talk more about the Infinity versus the other cars I had, because that was something special. You know, that feeling when you the first one in your city with that, you open the door for it to come out the off the showroom floor. You got to love that, baby. You got to love it. So anyway, um, you got to hide my car. I used to hide my bins from Stone, but I wasn't doing it knowing that he was after. I was just doing it because I was just like, I didn't know who to trust. Because I had done dirt. I had done him dirty. So I was like, man, I ain't going to let nobody get me like that. Because somebody had just burnt my QA4 in front of my mother's door on Willow Street, on Wild Willow. They burnt it. So I couldn't trust no I, I couldn't afford to trust nobody nobody else. Nah 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 nah. So I had to keep them calls put up. But yeah, I, I just was going back down memory lane thinking about that. Um 
when I did that, you know, it just I was just like, you know, I want to share this here because I know a lot of people be hearing me tell stories about the Infinity, the, 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 the QX4 that I had. And I don't talk about the other cars. But like I say, that the other cars just, you know, they were cars. You know, all of them were cars, but that just was a, an exciting moment for me. Really exciting moment. You get to hold them door, hold that door. You hold that door, they come on the showroom floor. It's an exciting moment. But um, yeah, then that boy uh had beat me out some money anyway over there. That boy would be over there at cash money. I already told that story already. But anyway, yeah, man, I just want to come on, show y'all some love, holler at y'all. When I was walking going down memory lane, some of the, a lot of this stuff gonna be in my documentary, so you all to be able to see that, see what's going on with it, and um, see how I was buying them cars fast. Cause I was I stayed with money. Hitting legs, hitting legs, rap, jacket, doing other thing. Come on, you know what I'm saying? But I, I kept a ride, kept a ride, and I always switched up rides because I knew them boys that yo was trying to get at me. And some of them girls, I was to know you was messing with them boys of yo, so I know they was dropping down, letting them know what I'm driving, this and this and that. So I had to always switch it up, always switch it up. I got the I got the uh, FBI report. When they told uh, their report, when they were saying how they could never keep up with me because I would always switch cars. I got it all in black and white. Y'all going to see in the documentary soon. Stay tuned. But anyway, I never let none of that materialistic stuff get to me. People want to drive my car, go ahead. You can drive it. I ain't tripping. Go ahead. But <laughs> one time it cost because I forgot to tell one of my code fitted that I had jacked a dude across the river. And they shot it up in that fish. So, you know, sometimes it's not good uh, when you beefing in a small city and you go get a nice car and that car stick out. Because everybody going to know, oh, that's such such car. So when you got beef, they gonna be, it's going to be random chopper bullets. It's going to be random chopper bullets now. So y'all got to be careful. Be mindful that a lot of people be watching. So y'all know my motto, though. Say no to drugs and stop it by put the guns down. Thank y'all for the love and support. Make sure y'all download the Roku channel, Terrence Gangster William Network. Got the nonprofit, they need us. Instagram, they need us, Third Ward. So whoever want to donate, show love, hit us up. We out here moving, baby. Thank y'all for the love and support. I'm out. Wine.